Research shows STEM concepts, science, technology, engineering, and math are important for children of all ages. Discovery Center Museum's hosting an event this weekend that puts STEM center stage. Here with Moore's marketing director, Anne-Marie Walker. Thanks so much for being back with us today. Always glad to be here, Mimi. Discovery Center always has some really fun things going on, and this weekend is no different. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Well, you know, we always love to highlight science at Discovery Center, uh, but this week is a special event on Saturday called Junior Scientist. And so we're really highlighting um, uh, lots of things that hopefully get kids interested in future careers as uh, scientists or engineers or mathematicians, uh, any kind of science really. Are, is there a certain age group being targeted for this? Um, I would say probably elementary school, but we'll have some things for younger uh, children as well. And then we'll have some professionals here from the community uh, who will have activities, but uh, would also be able to answer questions for, for older students as well. And when we talk about activities, it's just playing though, isn't it? Well, it, but it's educational. Playful learning. There that's we go. We like. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> There's the key phrase, playful learning. Yeah, yeah, because really that's, that's how we learn best is, is through play through, and through experimentation. And so Discovery Center is all about trying things out, seeing what works. If it doesn't, learn from it, try it a different way. Uh, and so this weekend we're going to have lots of, in addition to the 300 plus exhibits that we have, we're going to have some special hands-on activities uh, for children. And again, we've invited some local folks from the community to come in and, and help with that as well. Fantastic. Now, do people have to register for this? No, no registration is required and uh, all the activities are included with admission to the museum. That's terrific. So no additional cost. No. So when we do when you do activities, I know I've been there before when you do special events, there there's there are things going on all over the place, isn't that right? Yeah, and and this weekend tomorrow um, we'll have actually our special hall, Kresge Hall set up with all the, the, the special activities. Um, in addition to we'll actually also have um, free planetarium shows and we'll also have our live science theater open and be doing a variety of science shows throughout the day. Uh, but Kresge Hall is where all the special things will be. We've got folks from the uh, Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy coming and they'll be doing some fun things with kids. We've got um, a professor from Rockford University, uh, a kinesiology professor, and uh, she's going to be doing, oh gosh, probably a half dozen different activities relating to, related to human body movement and Newton's laws of motion. Uh, which uh, a variety of things. One involves uh, an actual coat hanger on the head with golf balls. I almost <laughs> brought it for you to, oh, that to test, great. But, uh, but I didn't. Maybe next time. Okay. Um, and then we'll, have, uh, we'll also have students from the UIC College of Pharmacy here uh, doing some things with, with children as well. Uh, and then some of our own things. Uh, if kids are interested in robotics, we've got these things called cubelets that they can learn how to program and use. Uh, we'll have a little chemistry experiment that, that children can do. Uh, so just a wide variety of things to kind of introduce them to maybe some potential careers in their future. Absolutely. What do you hope the kids take away from this event? You know, again, we're just here to inspire a love of learning and an interest in science. Uh, and, you know, as we say, science is, is everywhere. It's all around us. Uh, and so just kind of introducing children to that concept that's, that science is, is everywhere and science can be fun and interesting and the, the many different professions that, that utilize science every day. And you have another event coming up this month related to Halloween. Well, we do. Our annual spooky science event uh, is back. That will be Friday, October 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. So again, all sorts of special activities. Uh, perennial favorite would be uh, glowing slime. Kids can create oh. glowing slime. Uh, and so yeah, again, lots of special activities. We'll again partner with the community. I think we're going to have the um, uh, UIC College of Medicine students here doing things. And then the chemistry club, I believe it's called Alpha Helix from Rockford University, will also be on hand doing some special things with kids for, for that spooky science event as well. It's really great that you're partnering with other community organizations and schools. I think that's fantastic. You know, we love to and it's really a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. We love highlighting community partners and, and showing people what, what they're doing, what good they're doing, and what kind of, again, what kind of careers that there are right here in the Rockford region um, that utilize those special skill sets. Um, and and it's you know it's great exposure for them so uh, we we really enjoy doing that. Well, that's terrific. Well, tomorrow of course the Young Scientists event. Tomorrow from ten to two. Okay. Uh, 
And again, all included with activity, are all admission is perfect. All included with admission. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then Spooky Science, October 28th. Great. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate Thanks. it.